Hello, so today I'm just going to do a quick reconstitution video showing one of the basic and most popular peptides and that is GHKCU. Now today we're going to mix just the GHKCU and the hyaluronic acid uh, solution. I'm going to show you how to reconstitute it and then I'm going to just share some general rules that I go by. So <clears throat> the hyaluronic acid serum that I recommend is the pure hyaluronic acid serum from Cosmetica. Uh, a good way to think about the GHKCU is for every ounce of hyaluronic acid, so if you get one ounce, you want one jar of 300 milligrams of GHKCU. One jar per one ounce makes it a 1% GHKCU solution. So that means that if you have a two ounce, right, or if you want to make multiple peptides, for example, right, add multiple peptides into one then i would do two jars in the two ounce if, if you're going to add something like snap 8 and or laufacil or you know matrixyl or whatever it is you want to add to it but they were going to focus on a simple um a simple and, and very well effective peptide uh, serum so ghkcu is going to help tighten loose skin it's going to improve elasticity skin density, firmness, it's going to reduce fine lines, wrinkles, uh, it can even help reduce uh, photo damage, skin, and then hyperpigmentation as well. So it's a really powerful one in and by itself. So what you're going to do is that you're going to take your jar of GHKCU, right? And you're just going to unscrew it, tap the lid just to make sure. Again, again, mo one of the most commonly asked questions is, I got my jar and there's a lot missing. So this, this, these are raw peptides. There is no buffering agents like, uh, like injectable peptides. These are just raw peptides by weight. So there's nothing missing. This is how it's supposed to look, a jar of 300 milligrams of GHKCU. So you open your jar like so. And then you open your, your fresh uh, hyaluronic acid serum, right? And you just pour some into it, like so, right? And then normally, right, if I, if I weren't in a rush, I would just let it sit and then I would stir it like this for a little while, right? But just, oh no, I spilled some as well. You definitely don't want to do that. But just let it sit and then after a while it will dissolve by itself, right? And then you can also use the dropper to kind of like stir it around, right? To make it dissolve. Like so. And then after that, I'm going to transfer it back. See that beautiful color there? I'm going to transfer it back into the hyaluronic acid, right? I'm going to make sure I get all of it, right? Transfer it back into the, um, get everything from the peptide jar back into the hyaluronic acid bottle. And then you have your ready-made serum, right? Just put it in the fridge, store it in the fridge because that way it will store for way longer and keep fresher for longer, right? Make sure you're doing everything with clean hands and yeah, I hope this cleared up some confusion and any questions, just let me know. Have a good day.